Hey, this is just a quick video showing how we do a standard overlap on trim. So whenever we've got a trim that's got a hemmed edge like this, where the edge is bent around, uh, come on, focus camera, there we go, where the edge is bent around like this, um, this is how we'll do a lap. So you just take a knife or a flat bar, my knife full of caulking here, but anyway, and you just open up that hem. So it's a little open, a little wider. On your other piece, you take your set of snips and what we'll do is we trim an eighth of an inch wide here and one inch long. One inch is our standard overlap. Sometimes um, different drawings will call for a little more, so you always want to check with your shop drawings, but uh, that is our standard is one inch. So just nip up an eighth of an inch by one inch and I don't always measure this out it's not uh, hypercritical to be exactly precise so we'll take it and we'll just bend off the remaining piece of hem just work it back and forth till it breaks there we go so now we've got that we've got that cut and then typically this piece will be fastened to the wall and you'll take this piece and slide it in. And, uh, well, this hem is bent pretty tight, but you can see here. Just like that. So you gotta work that in a bit, but that's your finished look on the outside. It looks nice and seamless, and uh, often we'll leave just a tiny little space in there, just like what you see here, maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. So there's some room for expansion and contraction of the metal. Um, but yeah, that's how we do it. And so that's standard on, you know, anywhere where we have a hem that's going to be shown. Um, sometimes you'll have two hems on a piece of trim. If it's a face trim and they're both going to be exposed. And we'll just do that exact same detail on both, both hems then. But uh, on a base trim like this, you just have one hem exposed. And your other hem will be hidden by your product up here. So... That's it.